Finally, we are going to learn how to combine these exercises into a workout. So, based on the principle uh, that you re really gain the benefit when your muscles are fatigued, and that when you do a set, that really the last rep or two is the only one that really counts, we can uh, take that principle and extend it and say, well, if I do a second set of an exercise, then I start out pretty fatigued. And so I'm going to gain far more benefit from a second set than I will from the first set. And if you do a third set, you're going to benefit, you know, even more. So I would recommend that you do at least three sets of any given exercise in your workout. So let's suppose you had 12 exercises. Um, if you did one set of all 12 exercises, then, I mean, that, that would be a benefit. I mean, you're going to gain from that. But you would gain far more by choosing four of those 12 and doing three sets of each one, and then a next workout, choose a different four and do three sets of each of those. So, um, yeah, that's going to be far more beneficial. You're going to build strength and endurance much faster doing it that way. Also, our bodies, they adjust to workouts, and it's beneficial to change up the workouts and it makes it easier if you're doing a subset of your exercises each workout you just choose a different set do them in a different order each time then your body doesn't uh, adjust so much to it okay now um, order is is important uh, so let's say Let's say you're going to do uh, three sets of squats. And so you do, you do a set of squats. Let's say it takes you 45 seconds. Well, you can't just turn around and do your second set of squats. Otherwise, that would just be part of the first set. And that would also mean that you didn't do the first set until you were f fatigued. So if you were to do to wait for a minute and then do the second set and then wait for a minute and then do the third set, then there's a couple things wrong with that. First, it's taking you twice as long because you're, well, more than that, you're resting more than you are exercising. Second, you're probably not... Uh, having a sufficiently long recovery time between sets. And the last thing is you're not building up your overall body's endurance and ability to output energy if you're exercising for less than half of your workout. So a better way to do that would be to do your squats, and then do a different exercise, and then your leg's recovery time is during that other exercise. Then do a third exercise so that your legs continue to recover. Um, that then increases your recovery time, but it keeps your body working the whole time so that it's not resting. And with a longer recovery time, then your second set is probably going to be higher output than it would if you had a shorter recovery time. So your overall energy output by cycling through this is going to be higher. It keeps your body working. And uh, yeah, it's, it just works out better. So that brings us to high intensity interval training. Hit. Uh, or just you can just call it intervals. So an interval-based 
workout looks something like that, or something like this. You uh, you're going to break your work down. You're going to break your workout down into circuits. Each circuit is going to last about ten minutes, maybe eight to twelve, depending on the exercises that you that you choose. You're going to work the entire time, no resting, no breaks, no drinks of water. You just go straight from one exercise to the next, 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 until your time is up. I'm not going to lie. It is hard. I have on numerous occasions had to quit because I felt like I was going to throw up. But the uh, the benefit that you gain for the amount of time spent is far and away better than any uh, other exercise technique that I am aware of. So you will probably, if you want to do intervals, which you may not, uh, you can probably fix your, if these exercises are going to fix your back, you probably don't need to do intervals to get your back fixed. If you want to go beyond just fixing your back and get more fit, um, I do highly recommend that you do the intervals. So to start out, choose, say, four exercises. Um, I frequently do, do four. And when I do four, then I'll choose an upper body and then a leg and then a core, and then another leg. So I might do push-ups, and then Bulgarian split squats, then planks, and then, uh, say, lunges. If I didn't say lunge before. Anyway, so choose those four. That way I have a recovery period for my legs. Um, legs are your most powerful uh, muscle group, so that's why I double those up in, uh, in a circuit with four exercises. And I try to get three rounds in, in a circuit. Usually I can't quite get that in 12 minutes, but um, two rounds is generally less than 10 minutes. And I don't know, I'm OCD about finishing a round. So you do that for 10, 12 minutes, whatever, and then you take a five-minute break because, honestly, that level of output, 10 minutes, is about all you can handle. You just can't really go longer than the 10 minutes. So take a five-minute break and then do another circuit. The second circuit should be, a di well... I don't know about should. Uh, you probably want it to be a different set of exercises. Take a five-minute break, do a third circuit, and then you're done. If you're doing 10-minute circuits, that's 30 minutes of exercise, 10 minutes of rest. You got a killer workout in, in 40 minutes. That is really quite difficult to, to beat. Uh, you can move to what is known as a triset, where you do three exercises instead of four. And those, not surprisingly, upper body, core, and leg. If you really, really want to go for it, then uh, get the intensity up, then go for a superset. And a superset is, you guessed it, two exercises. At that point, the recovery time is very short, and uh, supersets are very intense. I usually can't even last seven minutes. And nat naturally, the, the fewer exercises you have in each circuit, the more rounds you're going to do. If you do supersets, then you're probably going to be at... Yeah, five rounds per circuit. And because the whole circuit 
is just exhausting. It's going to be much shorter. Then you may do four or five circuits instead of three. So anyway, that's uh, that's intervals. It really, really cranks up the intensity, and therefore the improvement is uh, dramatically higher than if you have a workout scheme where it's lower intensity spread out over a larger period of time. I do highly, highly recommend circuit training for, uh, or interval training. And, uh, you know, the fact that you feel like you're going to die when you do it is a good thing because then your body says, oh, uh, I better make some changes because I don't want to die. And you'll do a second round of workouts, you know, a few days later and you're going to feel like you're going to die again. And the third time, you're probably going to feel like you're going to die again. Fourth or fifth time, then your body's starting to adjust to it and you're getting, you've already, you know, improved significantly and you're probably not going to feel like you're going to die anymore. And, you know, after a couple months of doing this, then uh, the circuits will feel really good, actually. You'll feel that, uh, that uh, you know, that exhaustion that, you know, you really worked hard, but you'll have the feeling that, you know, you did it, that you're up to it. Well, I hope this helps. Talk to you later. Let me know if you have uh, any questions. Bye.